Hi guys, I wanted to go over a devotional that I've been reading by Jamie Morgan. It's called Thirsty. And to just give a little of the notes that I've been taking from there. Um, it's a 31 day journey to personal revival. And the first day is talking about being thirsty for personal revival. Um, so when you're thirsty for personal revival, you want to radically burn and shine like John the Baptist did. You know, Jesus described John the Baptist as the greatest man who had ever lived. He lived and died to, the, to point the way to Jesus. It was his whole point of his life. His ministry was forged in the desert. It's an interesting teaching during this season because it's hotter than blue blazes everywhere in the country right now. The desert produces thirst in us. So when we're going through a desert in our spiritual life, it produces a thirst for Christ. Thirst leads to seeking water. Seeking water brings about finding water. Finding water leads, leads to drinking to your fill. And drinking to your fill imparts abundant life. You don't have to wait for the apathetic, lukewarm church to get revived in order to experience personal revival. You can get on fire now. You can be a living, breathing, walking revival, setting everything you touch ablaze for God. But personal revival starts with that thirst for Christ. God uses the desert that you're in to create an unquenchable thirst for Jesus. Nothing this world offers will satisfy. Only Jesus will. It's in the crucible of the desert that God brings you to a point of insatiable thirst and holy desperation for him. It's here that he shows you there's more than what you're living. Many of you, the believers' faith in the four Gospels and Book of Acts is living, impossible to attain, super saint Christianity. But for thirsty Christians, this radical level of faith is both achievable by the grace of God and the goal. Thirsty Christians don't measure the walk with God by the Christians around them or even by someone who's done great exploits. For God, Jesus is their standard. A Christian who has been personally revived lives true bib biblical Christianity, not perfect Christianity. If that were the case, none of us could experience personal revival. The road to true biblical Christianity is not easy. Going against the tide is beyond difficult. Persecution can be deadly. Standing firm to the end is what few will do. Life on the rocky, narrow road is lonely. Most take up residence on the sandy, wide road. But true biblical Christianity isn't easy. But if it is made possible by Jesus' death and his burial and his resurrection and ascension, it's something that we can do. It's important to note that John, never, John the Baptist never left the desert. Even when God launched his prophetic ministry, he remained in the desert. He was fully alive there. He didn't stay because he was a social outcast, but because the desert gave him an intimacy with God that he never wanted to lose. So we can find that place when we're going through dark places and desert places, and we can find the intimacy with God and just stay in that place even when times get better. John the Baptist didn't leave the desert until he was carried to jail and killed. There's life in the desert with Jesus, so I want to encourage you in that. There's death in the world without him. In the desert, all you have is God. He's all you ever need. So what does a personally revived Christian look like? A personally revived Christian is pure, devoted, and fearless. They're loyal to God and keep his commandments. They cling to the cross and long for the return of Christ. While others let their love for the Lord, their brothers and sisters, and their enemies wax cold, they love with intensity. They love truth, speak truth, and stand for truth. They stand stalwart against doubt and unbelief. They walk by faith and not by sight. They're militant against lies and deception. They courageously swim against the tide of the world's philosophies, movements, and cultures. And while others are asleep to prayer, they're mighty prayer warriors. They're awake when others are asleep and hungry for God when others don't care. They pursue lives of holiness when other believers are steeped in compromise. Revived Christians are living, breathing, walking revivals, mm -hmm. setting everything they touch ablaze for God. They're signs and wonders in the, high, in the hands of Almighty God. They start fires wherever they go and will help usher in the greatest harvest this world has ever seen. They have a holy desperation for God and view the spiritual desert as a tremendous opportunity to thirst after Jesus. 
they've been tried and tested and proven faithful. They're true biblical Christians. They're believers who have been personally revived. So how do you know if you are thirsty for Jesus when you don't care if you ever leave the desert because you found intimacy with Jesus there? That's how you'll feel about this journey to personal revival. You're never going to want it to end.